go to Matthew. Yeah, next. Matthew, uh, let's listen to your worst take. I actually thought it was inappropriate that she said during small talk uh, before our yeah. interview. Maybe she's bad at small talk. Maybe yeah, it was maybe, her. Maybe it's her. <laughs> I, I just feel that, you know, I don't know what, if it was an off the record converse, if the entire interview was off the record, but I know, Sarah, you've interviewed people. We interview people and we have small talk before. That is generally not something that you mention during <laughs> when you're being interviewed by an anchor. Okay, so that needed a little setup. Sorry about that. That's the Fetterman NBC interview. All this reporter said, Matthew, <laughs> was like when he didn't have his computer telling him my words, he didn't understand what I was saying. And she was vilified. And it's not just the view. My worst take of the week goes to the journo lynch mob uh, who have been attacking this NBC reporter for simply pointing out what we all know and what the Fetterman campaign has now acknowledged, which is that John Fetterman is not well. And uh, normally as a journalist, you, you actually you know, your ire is towards politicians, candidates, whatever, but not other journalists. In this case, it's a complete inversion of what we normally expect mm -hmm. to see, which is that the entire mainstream media is now attacking a reporter for saying that, hey, you know, when I was chatting informally with John Fetterman before I did this interview where he needed, you know, heavy subtitles and all of that, uh, he wasn't really understanding exactly what I was saying. The problem is actually the journalist for pointing this out. So yes. that to the whole media, Firestorm is my worst take of the week, but it was really well encapsulated, I think, by the view. You, if you dare step out of line in the mainstream media world, you knuckles wrap pretty quickly, as that uh, poor reporter found out. All right.